there have been riots in Leeds. Can you tell us what the situation is? I've seen some sure. of the videos that look so alarming. The facts are not entirely confirmed, mm. but what I've been able to piece together from what information I've got is uh, there was a Roma, a gypsy uh, family who, who, who lived in the area and they left their children unattended. And apparently a young baby that was less than, less than one years of age fell out a window and injured itself mm. and had to be taken to hospital. The, the, the father was completely apoplectic about it. And he went, went into the hospital, grabbed the baby and took it home. The hospital alerted social services who alerted the police. The police turned up and they took the children away and everybody in the area, some, some Roma people live there, but it's mainly uh, Pakistani heritage Muslims who live there. And they spent the whole evening rioting. <laughs> First thing I did was uh, they turned over a police car. They physically turned it over, and um, it was set fire to a bus. I, I estimate there were about 500, 600, 600 uh, people out on the streets uh, demonstrating. Police made three attempts to um, regain control of the streets, and each one was a complete and utter failure. This is where the Muslim vote and, and some aspects of Muslim culture is leading to. Uh, we're becoming like Pakistan, where, it, where it's mob rule. There is no uh, appreciation for the Enlightenment and Western liberal democracy, you know, and uh, you know shared values. You know, we, we are now becoming separate communities. We, we might live in a country with completely parallel societies. Why are they just sort of allowed to develop and live essentially under their own rules? Sheer cowardice on behalf of the, uh, the government and, and, and the local authorities in this country. You know, if you look at the grooming gang scandal, uh, Britain has a population of about 70 million. Sarah Champion reckons that one million girls over 30 years under the age of 16 were raped. Oh, you were effectively sacked for speaking out uh, about saying that Britain has a problem with British Pakistani men raping and exploiting white girls. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that now? Do you still stand by that? Oh, I still stand by it because the evidence backs me up. So your party was trying to shut you down? Um, you'll have to ask my party that. At least 20 um, uh, councils where, where this happened and all, all bar Oxford, they were all la la uh, Labour Party council run places. Mm. And, and, and because they didn't want to lose the Muslim vote. I think it's about time that we just stop pretending this isn't a problem and address it head on, recognise there is this disproportionate problem within our communities and worry about the victims. 80, I reckon about 80% Lead, lead moderate and decent lives oh, of course. Uh, and are a credit to their community and their Absolutely. religion. Absolutely. Uh, but then you have the 20% of, 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 of Muslims who, who are extremists. And unfortunately, the extremist tail wags the moderate, moderate dog. If, if you wanted to set up a moderate Muslim pressure group or something like that, you would be intimidated. Uh, you, would pro you possibly could get death threats. And you know the boys might come around and pay you a visit in your home. And this is the reason the politicians in this country won't address it, because I know they do stand up. Like what happened in Hare Hills in Leeds last night, the minute the police stand up to them, there will be riots. So what I should imagine the net effects of these riots will be when it comes to the inquiry, will be more softly, softly policing of, 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 of areas like that. I think I, I, as, as they're, they're an expanding population in this country, they are growing and they will, they'll be growing in power and their influence on secular and the re religious life of this country will increase. Um, and I think there's a lot of very angry people in this country. Enough is enough. The line in the sun has been torn. We're being replaced no longer. And I can't see this ending very well, to be perfectly honest.